Hey YouTube, this is the GI Nerd Commander here with the Cobra Deviant mobile mech suit. Uh, before we begin, I would just like to warn anyone who is sensitive to foul language that I will be using a few expletives uh, during this review. So I'll give you time to go watch someone else's review. Five, four, three. Okay, uh, first of all, the name Deviant. I might be wrong, but isn't the definition of deviant something that differs from the norm? I don't know. I thought it was kind of a silly name. I'm sure somebody at the Hasbro uh, desk when they're coming up with names is like, you know, it'd be really cool, man, if, if we call it a deviant because like, it's just different and stuff. But then they make something, they made one that looks exactly the same. As... Anyway, okay. <clears throat> Uh, this one does not have hardly any of the stickers on it. it comes with a lot of cool stickers. Uh, most of them I'm going to use for something else. I'm uh, going to try to put some other ones on. Uh, quick, um, if you do purchase this item, you're going to want to get a toothpick to put these on because there are a lot of stickers that are a uh, real pain to put on. So I put a few of them on up here, and then I just stop. So I was like, this is a waste of my time. So anyway, okay, first of all, first thing that pissed me off about this piece of shit are these fucking things right here. Okay? I don't know what the hell this stuff is, but uh, if you get this, I don't know if it comes with any other of the vehicles that they have out now at all because the only vehicle I've bought in so far. But these things are not cool. Even those old twisty ties are less of a pain in the wiener than this. So... Throwing that aside. Alright, let's get this piece of junk itself. Um, first thing I thought, as soon as I could actually get it out of the box, which took like 15 minutes to get all those stupid... Hey, look at that, this thing rises. Neat. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, first thing I thought when I got this out of the box, this is definitely a toy for kids. Uh, collectors, if you're getting this, you're probably just going to put it in a display. Uh, if you're like me, and you use, make a lot of dioramas... Um, it's really not that great, and I actually regret buying it. So, well, let's start off with this side. You get this. Did you see that? Let me slow it down for you. Okay? Yeah, not really that impressive. And you also get this grappling hook that... <laughs> It doesn't shoot far enough, and the string's really small. I was going to try to put a different missile in there. I probably should have grabbed one. I just don't know if I have one. I'm pro eh, I probably do somewhere. Okay. And that can just be... They didn't put a lever on this, so you got to kind of go like this. and It's just dumb. It just takes too long. The arms also don't move out, which I was really disappointed. They can move up, sort of. It will, for its credit. It does have a lot of articulation, but the knees don't bend. But the feet bend, and apparently, where the fuck this thing is, moves. So, here's the big selling point, is that you can take these off. You can take these Okay, right here. And then you can put a different one over here. But you're going to have to wait till they put out another Cobra one sometime next year. Because I don't know why we put the G.I. Joe one on because it's completely different colors. But. And this is another thing I thought was kind of silly. Is that you can attach these pieces together. So you could have like one gigantic arm that I assume won't fall over if you had it both on equal weight for its equilibrium. So yeah, it's just lame. Bam! And this thing is hard to press down. Too. Oop, just about gotcha. <laughs> Put your 3D glasses on, bitches. Yeah, that's right. 
going high tech now. Okay, but we're actually going to take this one off as well. Okay, just crack the top of it. I still can't find the um, His Tank version 5, but I wonder if anybody knows if these would fit on it. Although, why the hell would you want those on there? Hmm, you make a good point, Mr. Commander. A good point indeed. I do, I do. Let's kind of move that aside as much as we can so it doesn't fall off. And this is how I'm probably going to keep mine as a century and something. This is a weird, like supposed to be wiring it is the screw showing right here which I didn't like and I mean it just looks like a radiator for his ass so but this is how I'm probably gonna keep mine as a chicken leg walker this part up here does move these move like I said there's actually a lot of articulation in it other than the fact that you can't move the arms out at all all right, now let's get to the diamond in the shitty rough. This thing, if it doesn't break on you the first time you open it or close it, the figure fits very well in here, other than the fact that I had some trouble getting this part down over it. Ta da! The Cyber Viper. Ah, okay, I'm going to move you over here. Close this. Okay. Okay. I really, really like this figure, and I wish... Like with a lot of the figures that they do release as, um... Or, I should say, with vehicles. I almost kind of wish that some of them... I mean, I, do, I know that they reuse a lot of parts with them. But this guy would actually be really cool if they gave him, like, um a laptop, some kind of futuristic backpack, and a few guns or whatnot. Call him the Cyber Viper, have him replace the Techno Viper. One moment, please. Have him replace the uh, Techno Viper. I think that'd be pretty cool. He comes with Zartan's legs. Major blood chain thing on his wrists. I don't know. If I really like that or not. Of course, mine, the legs are kind of loose. But the arm movement was pretty stiff. Which I liked. Because I like them stiff. Anyway, one thing I didn't like about mine. But this is only because I didn't have much of a selection. There was only one left. And if I was going to buy this, I should have picked it up earlier when I did see one that didn't have this. But mine, the one that I got, the eyes are kind of, like, they're looking up, which is kind of queer. But it does come with this really cool, I know you can't see it at all, I just want to do this to annoy you. Um, little sight thing on there. The wild weasel helmet. Uh, I don't know if this chest plate has ever been used before with anything. I know that the chest itself has. I can't remember her on what at the moment. I think Viper, I can't remember, but he does come with a little knife, <clears throat> you know, which I like. I, I like when they keep the knives and guns on the side and <clears throat> their little holsters. That's cool to me. This is a really cool figure and, <clears throat> excuse me again, I apologize, really the highlight of this for me. I mean, this will look, I mean, you know, I have to use it as, like, for this, I don't know, the arms to me are just too silly. The cockpit itself is really nice. The, um, gears in here have a lot of movement to them, which is really cool. Lots of stickers that go in there, which are a total pain in the ass. But, like I said, the figure, to me, is the real selling point to this. I really, really, really like the figure. And I really hope that they, well, I mean, I know they won't, but I almost hope that they would put it out on a single card. And, you know, maybe change up a few things on it. Maybe give them at least different, um, I don't know, the chain around the hand. 
I don't know, maybe used to be in a punk rock band, and that's just kind of a style. I don't know. But the figure itself is really cool. The mech suit itself... <coughs> total dog shit. <coughs> so, I was really disappointed to get this, but when I finally got out of the package and my son saw it, he was like, oh, that's cool, I want to play with it. And I was like, no, I gotta put the stickers on it first. But, so, I'm just going to probably give this to him. He can play with it. And I'll just keep the figure. Another thing I noticed about this is that... Even closing it without the figure in it, it's, it doesn't seem to want to really close. I don't know, for $20, it just doesn't seem like a good deal to me. I really feel like it got it ripped off. And unfortunately, because I got this one, I'm probably going to have to buy the other... Um, What's it called? Steel... I think it's called Steel Marauder for the Joes. Might have to get that one. And real quick before I leave this, I did I did actually like this so that the um, feet do have really cool motion. It'd be really cool to set it up on something like Hell Moon or stuff. No freaking come up on that. Blah, 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 blah. So anyway, uh, I don't really recommend paying the twenty dollars for this. It seems really high. Unfortunately, with the way that things are getting put out with this line, I doubt that you'd be able to find one on clearance anytime soon. You know, possibly next year, if you're lucky. Although, even by next year, probably a lot of people like me who are sick and tired of going to the aisle. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I can kind of walk. You know, they're sick and tired of going to the aisle and seeing Snake Eyes and Destro from Wave 2, which I went there today, and that's all they fucking had, and I got pissed off, and person working at Target was all like, sir, you need to calm down. I was like, no, I don't need to calm down because you don't have the figures I want. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, um, $20 seems like a ripoff to me when it comes to this. If disagree, sorry, but just didn't really like it too much. Figure's cool. Vehicle itself, I really just could care less. So with all that said, this is the one and only G.I. Nerd Commander, bringing you another exclusive review from the Pursuit of Cobra line. I guess it's really not exclusive, because anyone can go out and get it. Except me, I can't go out and get a hiss tank. Now the Fury's out. I should probably just stop rambling and end the video, but I don't want to, because I'm so upset. I'm just so mad. Okay, I'm calmed down now. Last thing I'm going to say before I go... Thank you to everyone who subscribed, uh, sent friend invites, and uh, commented on my videos. Um, all of you are fucking awesome, and all that good shit, so, alright, bye.